Hey friends, it's Hannah from Sheet Leveler, and today I'm going to show you a really handy trick in Excel, how to sum your data by month. I personally love this trick because it turns a long, messy data set into something super clear and easy to analyse. Trust me, it makes a huge difference when you're working with dates and amounts. OK, so here's what we have. I've got dates in US format from January 1st, 2024, all the way to July 2025. Don't worry, this works with whatever date format you're using. First, we need a list of all the months we want to sum. Here's a quick tip. Just type the first month in abbreviated form with the year, like January 2024. Excel automatically converts that into a proper date, in this case, the first of the month. Now, if we copy this down, Excel will give us the first day of each subsequent month. This sets up the starting point for our calculations. Next, we need the end of the month. A simple way to do this is with the EDATE function. Let's write it out. Equals EDATE start date, months. Start date is the first of the month we just created. Months is how many months forward we want to go. So if we start with January 1st and add one month, it will give us February 1st. Our date range will then be from the first of the month to one day before the next month. You might try to copy the formula down, but wouldn't it be nice if it just spilled automatically? If we try it normally, we get a number sign value exclamation error. Here's a neat trick. Use the by row function with a lambda. Set up your array as the list of months. Create a label inside the lambda. I'll just call mine D for dates. Then, instead of referring to D2 colon D20, we refer to the D label inside the lambda. Press Enter. And now your dates spill automatically. Format them if you like. I usually switch them back to general for clarity. Now comes the fun part. The sum ifs formula. Sum if s, sum range, criteria range 1, criteria 1, criteria range 2, criteria 2. Sum range is the column with the amounts you want to total. Criteria range 1 is your dates column. Criteria 1 is greater than or equal to your month start. In Excel, that looks like we use the ampersand and to join the operator with the date. Criteria range 2 is also your dates column. Criteria 2 is less than the next month from your e-date formula. Again, you can catenate it like this. Don't forget your brackets at the end. Just one bracket will do. Press Enter and Excel will calculate all the sums by month automatically. See? Super smooth. And that's it. You now have monthly totals from your dataset, all dynamically calculated. Pause, practice, and play with it. You'll get the hang of it quickly. Excel might look intimidating at first, but little tricks like this make it really friendly. You're doing great.